What's good, yo? We back, RTTV. Gang, gang, gang. And if it's your first time here, it definitely won't be your last. Make sure you kill, murder, and smash that subscribe button. And we're back with the newest episode of Attack on Titan. Damn. 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 What do we remember of the last episode? What do we remember? Annie's awake. She's awake. She's awake. The rumbling has begun. It's crazy. It is crazy. Mm -hmm. She about to give everybody the hands because she gave us probably one of the best fight scenes early on in the show. I feel like that was one of those fights that was like Actually, Attack on Titans really lit. Yeah, like that's that. when um, yeah, Jerry was Jerry. the announcer. Yeah, yeah announcer yeah, yeah, Jerry. Yeah, 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 Yo, yeah, can yeah. you give us an imitation of that? Do you remember how it goes? Do I remember how that fight, the announcer? Or just how you used to do it? Um, I would say, and he hit him with the right hook, hit him with the left hook. No, I don't remember energy, how I did it. Like, I don't remember, how, yeah, I don't hit don't hit remember exactly guys. how I did hit it. I remember, guys. Y'all remember up there. If y'all watch our reaction, y'all remember, right? remember that shit because comments you play. Yo, connect now to guys. Stop. <laughs> you guys loved it. I guess it was mixed. I guess it was mixed. <laughs> so, newest episode was Sunset Attack on Titan. Any predictions before we get in? We're going to see I, the sunset. And Annie's going to pop up and give somebody their hands on sunset. During sunset. On sunset. I don't know what the hell sunset. Annie's going to do. I don't, I don't even see the point. Of her coming back? Yo, Rob, you know what's crazy? You, sweater, me, sweater, sunset. Wow. Y'all didn't even, yo, you, nigga, this shit's connecting, bro. Oh, wow. Even this color right yeah, here. Yeah, that's part of the sunset. That's a part of the sunset, bro. Is you, purple, purple's you really know. part of the sunset? Yeah. Yeah. Look at the sunset, bro. I watch you never seen, like, purple sunset. in the sky? When, it's, when the sun sets? Sometimes, not all the time. You so, seen the therefore, it is, Jerry. Therefore, I've it is. Yeah, I've never seen, I've never seen a bird cry. <laughs> Period. Let alone a dove. Like I don't see doves every day, so you gotta listen to more Prince. I don't even know <laughs> what we're talking about. I, I'm confused too, yo. All right. The newest episode. I don't remember the episode number, but <laughs> Sunset Season Four: Attack on Titan. Oh snap! Tight. They're already at Tross. Big ass Titan. That is. Some really big ass Titan. It's funny because it's kind of low-key taking them out, too. Hell, yeah, they getting collateral <laughs> damage. Everyone's like, I want to protect my people. Psych! I lied. Yeah. <laughs> it's not intentionally taking them out, though. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, you should have more just, control. Yeah. yeah, for a nigga that got control, he don't got control. See? People over here dying and shit. Yeah, yeah he's a Jaegerist right there. I can tell. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what's up? Man, that's already a civil war between these people, yo. And they're inside the wars. Yeah, exactly. But actually, there's, there's no more wars. Oh, yeah, but <laughs> they're at parody, yeah. yeah. The Jaegerus! Oh. Oh, wait, whose bloody footprints is that? It's definitely Andy. It's water. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's water and blood. Like it just looks blood because it's like a reddish yeah. light. That's crazy how red the sky is. I, that's how you know the world's about to end. Can you imagine Andy just kills somebody? Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> How you oh wake up God. after five years and already with the smoke? Like, what is happening? <laughs> yeah. Like, you dumb? Fucked up. Are you dumb? I've been training my whole oh, shit. Train for this. Yeah, you definitely got me fucked up. It makes sense why she's weak, though, bro. She woke up after how many years? Yeah, how She yeah. hasn't got her first, first meal yet. Oh, shit. Yeah, we know about Titans now, bro. You can't just bluff your way out of this. Hey, you better watch it. Yo, guys, now we can react to this. Because everything is, you know, that you can't get spoiled on it anymore. So Annie's really going to be part of the end of this. Like, I really don't, like, I really want to know what she's going to do, bro. I'm sorry, she has the like, she big, bro. she's like uh, Kendrick and, Do and Dr. Dre's Detox. <laughs> they waited so long with this, I don't even care about you no more. That's like. the thing is. Like, nigga, Good Kid Mad City hit so hard that if he comes back with some shit like nah, that. Nah, bro, but we haven't seen any for a grip, but nigga. Exactly, like, but she it's, throws hands like she I know, it's been some years, nigga. Like, it's wow. like, what the hell could you do now, nigga? Like, what the hell are you bring to the table? Bro, give her a burger, nigga. She's going crazy. I used to be a fan of her, but it's like, bro, I don't even know what you could do. <laughs> so she was hearing everything they were saying. She's caught up. <laughs> Uh, bitch, do you not see the Titans? Oh, he's dead ass, bro. Yeah, I'm like, do yeah. you not see the Titans? How you asking that question? That's the story? Huh? Huh? That's the story or no? Nah, that's, that's Andy. 
Wait, oh, Andy's already on a horse? Yeah. yeah. Damn, that was fast? What the fuck? Fucked up ass mindset. Look at this oh, shit. Oh, yeah. They didn't even think about what they could be doing, bro. Damn. That makes okay, me even more sick. We didn't get her perspective, so all right. That makes sense, because we didn't get a girl's perspective from being sent to fight. What the hell? Yeah, they dropped her off like it was Uber Eats. See, that's why she's so nasty at fighting, bro. She started yeah, fucking him up. She beat the shit this out of him. This is for all the times, you bitch, motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah, yo, she's a G, yo. Hell yeah, look at her. Now, look I remember, like me. now I remember where I liked him before. Oh, wow, he can't walk straight anymore. Oh, my God. But he's souped. It's like he's actually happy while he's crying right there. Oh, you beat me up so good. That's all I ever wanted. Yeah, facts, yo, facts. I listened to you talk for years, so. Nah, she's funny, yo. <laughs> Too late. I, I wonder what made him have a change of heart. And that's who she thought of before she crystallized. Remember that? I think last episode they flashed to him too. Like they showed his face real quick? Yeah, he was the one that was in like, when they in went the to Aaron, I think. Yeah, when Aaron was talking to everybody. That's some, yo, those things are slow as shit. Sunset. Nah, Aaron's fuck. And he's... I forgot Andy is really a savage. She's like a savage, bro. Like she's like, like that's a dangerous person to have back with Tay Pauls in the field. Yeah, bro. I don't know whose side she's on. Yeah, but Aaron has the founding Titan powers, and from what we've seen, that founding Titan looks kinda OP. Yeah, and, a whole bunch of, and, too, and a whole bunch of colossal titans on his side. That's her dad right there. Yeah. Oh yeah, they did flash at him. Yeah. But they're not trying to let him out because they don't believe him, bro. Yeah. That's crazy. I'm trying to save lives, bro. Yeah, that's nuts. I'm telling you the truth, you still won't believe me. Aw. Yeah, see that? They're giving her Daddy's a Daddy's little girl. They're giving her a lot of spotlight. She gonna go crazy. Oh, damn. No, nah, no, nah, he yeah, fucked him up, bro. You tripping. Yeah, he He's gonna see his daughter, bro. <laughs> that, nigga, that nigga is Kanye West. See, I got him fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> he said, yo, it's like the same shit, though. Like, what the fuck? It's like, all right, yo. Yo, play along with them and shit like that, and one day, nigga, you can just take over. But it's like, nigga, that's the same shit that these niggas was doing yeah, to them, basically. It's, it's, it's like, cycles repeating. Shit is trash. The cycles <laughs> repeating even as he's trying to end the world. <laughs> <laughs> what? I want to see you say that to his face, bro. Nah, I fuck with Armin, yo. Yeah, it's not like he's, he's tired. I ain't gonna lie to you, like, he's becoming my favorite, bro. <laughs> he's manning up. Yeah. He's, and he's been smart. So now he's just getting that. Yeah, confidence behind his intelligence. Oh, oh my God. He said, bitch, I'm going crazy. I don't know. <laughs> I don't got the answers. It's chaos. Like, he just think about every possible issue going on right now. Anything that could go wrong went wrong. And the music is so beautiful in the background. But look at this. Nah, Mikasa's like, about to turn up. Him? It's Do time you, for you two to take over. Do you blame him for Take over. Crazy, like, you guys keep asking me for the answers, and it's like, I don't know. They got the answers. That's why. Damn. Now he's feeling regretful. Oh, no, it's too late for that, bro. You can't think like that, Armin. Way too late to be saying shit like that. You can't walk no, out. No, no, no. He's going to think he, that, but not, that's, gonna, that's like what's going to motivate him to turn up. It's just, that's what's going to motivate him to turn up like, yo, I have to at least make up, make make do if I'm the wrong person. Yeah, I got to make myself feel like I was the better choice. So it was nah, even if he back. feels like that, he's going to be like, I got to do something for at least being here. Mm -hmm. See that? Even during this bleak situation, I like the oh. glimmer of light. Oh, yeah. shit! It's crazy when niggas get sh um, shot regular. <laughs> like, when niggas get shot, this show is the craziest thing to do. Yeah. Flock is such a gangster, bro. Oh, where? Everywhere 
Cook is funny to ask me that. <laughs> He's been waiting to tell these niggas this. Hell yeah. Like, Who appointed me? Aaron did 10 months ago. Who knew about this shit 10 months ago? Me. <laughs> Real nigga shit. He's giving them the motivation for them to kill him. Yeah, somebody can push him out the window, but it's TVA Gurus. Like, look at this nigga right there is gonna kill the rest of his life. He's like, I bet. Bet. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh shit! Oh, nah, this show is hood. Nah, yeah. Attack on Titan is hood as shit. I'm with the smoke. I like niggas getting shot. Angry is boy. You, get you know what's you up? Angry is you know what's up? What's so wrong with submission, bro? Yo, let's get in, bro. Tap out. Who wants to get blasted? My nigga pulled next? out the blicky. Oh, no, Mikasa, like, what the fuck? Mikasa's is the one person that might beat his ass. No, no, he's, he's, he took it out. She's gonna kill this nigga. No, nah, he's dead. Mikasa's is the wrong one, my nigga. I'm sorry. Man, he's killing our people at the same time with this rumbling right now. Nah, I respect this turn. conversation. Nah, he's just saying that yo, just chill, bro. Like we won. Just relax. You're a hero. You don't no, gotta I'm fight saying, no is more. Is he about to go? Is he about to go full fledged Jaeger? Nah, you think he's gonna wild out, bro? Those are the questions. That's a good question. Anj isn't dead though. This Wait, about to see it right now. This show's over. Oh, what's Connie gonna do, bro? Nah, I'm just not gonna let him do it, he's bro. Gonna, he's feeding him to his mom. Nah, I remember Armin said I, I'm not gonna let. I'm gonna say you're not gonna let him do it, bro. He's getting a little suspicious too. He's like, yo, hold on. I remember something, but oh shit! The car's still alive. Who's that right there? Is that Hanj? That is Hanj. Oh shit. Man, hold up, oh, bro. Oh. Like, yo, that shit about to eat her quick. Levi? He's alive. Yeah. He's alive. What? Who refuses to die? Let's That's go. lit. That's lit. <laughs> Levi's yes. back, Lock. baby. Go. I told y'all, nigga. I told y'all. Nigga, that nigga's not gonna, like, that's the thing you gotta understand. There's there's a, there's a line where when it comes to kids where you just don't put you don't um push that. And I feel like Armin's that dude that knows that he can't let that happen. Not only that, I feel like Armin's gonna go and stop him. And then not only when he stops him, he's gonna get um Flacco, 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 Flacco <laughs> to um join him. He's gonna get Amy on his side. That's gonna be one, two, three Titans. Mm -hmm. Then um Hanj with uh Levi are gonna get come together. And um They got the car tie in there with Levi. Car tie in with Levi. Then you got Mikasa. Yep. And I think they're gonna they're smart they're enough. Reiner. Nah. They, I don't yeah. think they know where Ryan is. I think the only person that knows is Gabby. Gabby, yeah. yeah I know Armin brought him up the fact that it's like, yo, that's a piece right there that we can utilize and that's what that's what I'm at the time that I'm is on right now. I feel like with that that heart to heart that he was having with Mikasa, it was like him breaking down. It's like damn, nigga, there's so much shit that we gotta try to like worry about. That's like I can't even fully worry about Aaron. I gotta get all these pieces aligned first before we can go to the the bigger issue of Aaron and, and shit, bro. And I feel like this that moment that as part was so realistic because it's like mm -hmm. well all that going everything going wrong there should be a moment where you should have a mental breakdown Hell where yeah. you should be like damn like i was the wrong person to be alive and stuff and i feel like everyone has that point in their life with, or point in a moment where they feel like that but it's about feeling like that and taking that moment mm -hmm. and using it to fuel you to change the future outcome Facts. and i feel like that's why almond's like yo everything's going wrong and it's like I can't, like, I feel like there was a hope. It's just like, it's, it's a certain hope that Armin had for his friend to yeah. the very end yeah. before the um, rumbling began where it was like, yo, I got to, I believe in Aaron, but damn, it's like, there's a moment where it's like, nah. Like, yeah. He, <laughs> and right. it's like, I think that's what he realized. And it's like, I feel like, but that whole time when he was like, nah, Aaron got a plan. I feel like it, Armin 
is supposed to be that leader that he's all him and Mikasa are supposed to be our leaders themselves. And I feel like, um, I feel like this Aaron, um, is their crutch. Like, I feel like Aaron's so sure and so, like, I want to do this, whereas, like, they they rely on him. And I feel like even to the very end, and I to a moment where Aaron even slapped them in the face and they still believed in him. Yeah, Only nice. it had to be the rumbling where it was like, wait, hold up. And I feel like that's what Armin was saying that to Mikasa. And I feel like they're going to finally become those leaders that we need them to be. But, but honestly, though, right now, even seeing Eren's Titan form, what it could be, partially seeing it, it looks like to me there's unstoppable. Granted, I do agree that all these people <laughs> are going to team up. However, do I think that they're going to necessarily like physically defeat Eren? I don't know. Do I think that he's probably going to have to get to a point where he's going to, where I think Armin's definitely going to be at the forefront of it. Is he going to have to talk no jutsu, Eren? That's what I think is necessary, is probably going to happen at this point because it's going to have to be Armin to be the one that's like, you don't realize that what you're doing is what the Marlans have been doing the whole entire time. Well, Armin had that conversation with Aaron. Yeah, we gotta yeah, kill true, him. True, true, true. It's not, but it's die. not right. But it's, it's the complete opposite. If anything, Aaron's gonna die. Like he, but yeah. he's gonna die. His cause is still gonna. I, die. I still don't think he's gonna. I think he's gonna. I don't think Aaron. I don't think he's gonna get necessarily get killed. He gives a shit. Like I don't think Aaron got a plan. I don't think he's necessarily gonna get killed, but he's gonna die. But if because he did, because you're right, he did say that, but. I don't think he's necessarily gonna get killed by them, but he's gonna die some way somehow. I don't, I don't, like, think, I think, I don't know if he necessarily get killed by Armin or Mikasa. Nah, he's I getting mean, he's getting killed by Mikasa, bro. You think? Because so? yeah, yeah. Because the only thing is, I would have said I would have said Levi. No, I would have said Levi, but he's just not hundred percent. He's not. He's not there, and and, and let's just no keep way. it honestly. Like name one time Mikasa or Levi lost a fight to a Titan one on one. I can't think of one, my nigga. You feel me? Like one on one, where it's like nobody, and I feel like the only person that could get that close to Aaron. To attack will be Mikasa. Yeah, the and person I feel that like, been guarding him but, his whole life. But, and the thing is, I feel like this is. I feel like Aaron feels like this is what. No matter what, this was gonna happen to the world. Even if it wasn't the the the, the Titans, mm -hmm. the world would have did something where mass gen mass genocide was coming soon. Yeah. Somebody was gonna do it. And I feel like um after uh with our live podcast with uh, your boy Roshi, shout out to your boy Roshi having yes. that conversation. I feel like he's pulling a Lelouch where. He no, he's this is all part of his plan. If you can see the future, I think that he's um making himself out to be the ultimate villain mm -hmm. from from everybody, and to a point where uh, Mikasa and this nigga gonna take uh this nigga out, and then the world will start over, and it'll be like they'll respect people, they'll respect the Eldians. Yeah, it'll be like because it's like he's against everybody. It's like this nigga just crazy. Yeah, it's <laughs> this like, nigga they just realize crazy. he's a not, we like, have one public, yeah, public enemy but number one. Nigga, that nigga fuck said Titans, that makes fuck sense. Eldians, that makes sense. all that shit. He's that bad guy right there. And he's going to make Mikasa um, and um thing kill, uh, make the, all of them. You remember how they made the, uh, that girl story get the final blow on that nigga? Yeah. They're going to do some. On Roderice? Yeah. yeah. They're going to do some shit like that. And I think that was all part of his plan because he could see the future and stuff. And I think that's why when the guy was like, make sure to son Mikasa and Aaron. Remember he yeah, said it to, to protect them. Yeah, remember that dude yeah. said it to Aaron, the, what's yeah. the nigga's name? Aaron Kruger. Yeah. Aaron Kruger. Mm -hmm. And I think, yeah, because I think Aaron, I think we, I think to save, to save the day, sometimes to be a hero, you have to become a villain to save the day. Dark Knight shit. We can't wait to see Armin, man. What he about to do? Because Armin under pressure, man. We gonna we gonna see what he about to what he about to do for the people. But I do think he gonna do some fire shit for his people. Armin for president, yo. Uh, my only question is too, because they're heading to they're heading to Marley right now, and the Marleyans fully don't believe that the rumbling is a thing. At what point does a battle then take place at Mar in Marley? Because they have to see what's going on, and or in order for that to make sense, the Marlanes have the to. The thing see is, what's they're going, going all around the world. Yeah, yeah. Marlanes is one of the places that they're yeah. going to. No, but I'm saying like, what does a battle have to take place? Because at this point, they have to get. I'm talking about. I'm talking about everybody versus Aaron Yeager. Like all the the team up that we were talking about with, um, with the Car Titan, with um, with Annie, with 
everybody going up against Eren. At what point does that fight take place? Because if they're getting off Paradise, you would have to think that everybody else doesn't really believe in the rumbling, except the only people that know are the Eldians, right? If you're not an Eldian, you don't know what's coming. But so, remember that, that ship left? Ahead. Yeah, it turned around, so like the Marleans had like the, those blimps. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, remember so that by guy the time was they like, get there, okay, the they'll guy be able to tell the them, episode, and then they'll. Okay. He was yep, like yep, to yep. um the girl. He was like, "Yo, uh, they're like, damn, these niggas really leaving us." <laughs> and he was like, "Nah, that's nah, smart that they leave so they could tell the motherland what's about <laughs> to happen." Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Now I want to say one of my favorite moments in this episode was that conversation Flock was having with Gene. Yeah. So I feel like um. <laughs> In, in the realest situation, a lot of people will feel that way. Like, Flock, he, when he referenced four years ago, he referenced uh, the battle of when Erwin died. Mm-hmm. Remember, Erwin charged everybody to their death, and yeah, Flock was the right. only one that survived mm-hmm. in, that, in that battle. He's the one that brought um, Erwin uh, to the top of the roof, trying to make a decision between him and Armin. And he's like, yo, like, after that, bro, I don't want, I don't want to go through that shit again. It's like, yo, Gene, you survived that battle. Like, you a hero. Like, yeah. just chill. Like, yo, we actually won this one. Just relax. And I feel like um, in that situation, I, I would almost be like Flock in, in terms of being a Jaegerist because I'm like, yo, like, oh, I seen all my comrades die. I seen what the Titans did to my people. Like, I just want to set sail in this in this win and then take over. I feel like like we were uh, referencing in the middle of the, uh, in the middle of the episode, we was like, in the middle of the... And not, and not in the middle, in the end of the world, right? The, the rumbling is crushing everybody. And then you see people already starting somewhat of a civil war yeah. even between each um, other. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, in the beginning of the episode, you see there's this regular people. Like, nah, these people died. Everyone didn't kill these people. They were sacrificing so we can get a better world. And then you see um, Flock killing other soldiers. Like, yeah, you don't want to get down with the Agorism? Fuck it then. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I, it's almost as if, like, this cycle of hatred or this cycle... Regardless of what is done, can never. It's gonna and I feel, yeah, conflict. yeah it can feel, never end. Yeah, I feel him too, in that sense because it's like, realistically, he's thinking about it like the way Aaron's thinking about it. Well, unless the theory about his the the loose theory, I'm gonna just call it the loose theory, is what's going gonna happen. But it's like, yo, realistically, hey, if we don't kill these people, then they're gonna keep trying to kill us. They've been angry at us for years, for decades, like. We just have to kill them. We have no choice. They force our hand at this point because if we don't kill them, they're going to just keep trying to kill us and kill us and kill us. And we was just minding our business. We didn't know what was going on. So, yeah, I do feel him. I do feel him in that um, in that sense. I, I do, definitely would have been the I definitely would have been the same way. It's because like, not it's because like, it's realistically, thing. it's like there's a lot of people in this world that would be like, all right, I understand that they was going to come attack us, but a mass genocide outside this wall is not good. And even... Right there, like, you see these people, like, Flock is basically trying to convert every single person in there to be a Jaegerist, mm-hmm. but at the same time preaching freedom. So it's, like, it's really a contradiction in itself. So that's why, like, Gene doesn't... It's, like, I get where he's say, what Flock is saying, but, nigga, you're talking about doing something at the most radical extent. Yeah. And then you're trying to cleanse people around them of their previous ideology of... I think morality. But it is, what you, no, it feel- is what you are, though, bro. Martin Luther King goes one way, but remember how Malcolm X is by any means necessary. And my boy Flock is by any means necessary because niggas, it went too far already. So I'm trying to get what I want. But you can't body your own people because yeah. they ain't fully on nah, that side, but, though. Uh, but, like, I'm a neighbor. Don't get me wrong. You feel me, Eric? Don't kill nah, me. Nah, exactly. I'm saying, he though. can't. You say you're talking about, you're talking about Flock killing dudes. Yeah. Like, I, I, basically, I'm saying I understand, I understand Gene. Okay. I understand Gene. Like, no, I understand, I understand Gene too. more than I understand. I understand. Both I understand. Him. I understand him too, and I understand the point that you're coming from because at the end of the day, they are committing genocide. But, but. it's like <laughs> in in this world, with your way of thinking, with everything that you experience, like we had even had this talk before. Imagine you're just chilling, and then a Titan comes up and breaks down the walls that's protecting you from the other Titans. Just so you watch your people get murdered and then you find out that the rest of the world hates you guys and you don't even really know why. These people are just trying to kill you. And then you, and then it's just like everybody outside like, that wall. I was feels minding, that I was way, minding, I was minding my business, and the only way to continue to protect us, even if it means sacrificing some people, is just deading everybody else that is not part of Paradise Island. So I understand why he's moving the way that he's moving. Do I necessarily agree with some of the things that he's doing? Do I agree with genocide? No. But he's just like, listen, this cycle will end if we just kill everybody. Yeah, but like I, I, the, my biggest issue is like, yo. 
put it this way. I completely understand that, yo, you made it me versus you, so fuck you forever. Mm-hmm. Like, I completely understand that settlement, that sentiment. Like, yo, if you slap me a hundred times, nigga, what's to make me think you're not going to slap me another hundred? Nah, my nigga, you're never going to slap me again. I'm going to fuck, I'm going to make sure of that. The only problem I think there is is, like, other people are dying and your people are dying, too. People that actually fuck with you. Like, and I even understand, um, folks, uh, flocks to the point where it's like, all right, bro, if we're going to do this, we got to go all the way. If you ain't riding, you ain't riding. I can't fuck with you, bro. Like we we made this decision as a people. If you ain't fucking with it, it's fuck that. Like it's not like, bro. We made we made the most extreme decision. Exactly. If we're gonna do it, we gotta do it. Like I might necessarily I don't necessarily agree with the decision, but I understand that if we're gonna do it, we gotta do it. We can't have fast this shit. We're gonna smoke the world. That's it. Fuck you, yo. You fuck with me? No. Bow. Fuck you. You fuck with me? No. Bow. Fuck you. It, it, that's what it is. That's what time they on. And that's, and that's like, what I'm saying. The world pushed them to that breaking point. I yeah. feel like both people are right. And that's what I'm saying. I can't go into and say, um, what's his name again? Gene. I can't go into and tell Gene, like, yo, uh, you can't think the way, like, what you're doing is wrong. I could tell you that, but I can't tell you that you can't think like that. And I can't be mad if you won't change your way of thinking. Mm-hmm. I just got to understand, like, where you stand and I got to, move accordingly and i feel like that's where um the dude that was sitting down was realizing like I, oh you're talking about oh you're talking about flock initially the one yeah, yeah. i'm talking gene. both of them yeah, I'm, yeah. About, I'm saying flock gene first and i'm saying flock is realizing like yo gene is extremist like he's completely gone and it's no, like flock is the extremist sorry so yeah so gene's realizing flock. that flock is the extremist yeah and he's like I I have like I we're not on the same so like Flock is moving a certain way and he's gonna ride that to the end. And the thing I gotta respect about the show is with all the Titan stuff, all the people getting eaten, getting thrown into walls, getting ripped into half and stuff. I respect a good old people getting shot. Like I yeah, love it's beautiful. I love like even um Gabby shooting Aaron. That was like one of the coolest moments and it had nothing to like I like how they can implement this, the 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 um, they they use shooting in a different way. Like I feel like when people get shot in the show, is it's it's different. It's like different, bro. yeah, like it's like when Gabby did that shoot. Even when Flock Flock was doing it on a, a dictator, like some crazy, like he's a like it's like yo, he's completely gone. Like yeah. he's gone. And I feel like they utilize the gun um the gun scenes as a way of of showing like yo, it's like it's like they feel like there's no all um, no choice. And I feel like even when Kenny. Ackerman brought in the gun, um, gun aspect. It just shows you how even when the world with all those weapons, they'll still people will still use basic weapons to still get killed. Yeah, mm-hmm. there's still there's still violence on a regular level, yo. Other than the Titans and all that shit. Yeah, you were saying mm-hmm. that thing you gonna get eaten by a Titan and now flock flock shot you with a gun <laughs> in your head. You I feel me? That. Like I survived all that just to, just to get shot. Mm-hmm. I feel like a lot of the times Attack on Titans writer be making it seem like civilization and humanity is flawed. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. super flawed to like we've tried so many things to like m- can't maintain the peace that it just like the first time we the first thing we see is that people uh the king went to the walls, created a wall, created a society where everybody didn't remember shit. They didn't remember shit, they couldn't retaliate on what things that happened in the past. Mm-hmm. Maybe that maybe that was better because soon as you know, humanity got curious, they found out what happened, uh the other side attacked. Now we have the rumbling, you know what I'm saying? So it makes you, it makes you feel like was that was um the first idea, the better idea, because at least. But that's the thing about it that I had against that. It's like cool, they didn't have their memories, but they still were apartheid. Like they still separated them from the world itself. Like these are people that were never able to see the ocean, my nigga. You feel me? So yeah. like, I feel like if they were cleansed of those memories but still given liberty then it's cool but these niggas is fucking damn still, right. they'll come, yeah. Yeah, and that's why uh, human nature uh, you you'll be curious yeah, yeah. So that's like, what I'm eventually they're gonna evolve regardless so like, f- that plan it could have been good for that moment but as humans throughout everything we ever seen like Darwin's theory is always gonna kick in we're always gonna evolve we're always gonna adapt because natural selection gives us that you feel me so it's like that that's a plan that was it's only gonna be cool for a couple a couple minutes, my nigga. I feel like the writer t- wanted yes. to show too, like yo, like this is pretty much the real world. If we someone has an advanced weapon that yeah. they actually utilize, so like if a country utilizes an advanced weapon, this this is what could occur, and it shows you what 
humanity will go to if a certain um, people utilize a certain power yeah. to extreme. And I think that's a a, a teammate a Titan where it's like, oh, that's that can't happen. But you don't need to. it could be any futuristic weapon. So I feel like this is a good way of just looking how even in the past when people use uh, nuclear, nuclear weapons and yeah. stuff. It makes you think completely different. It makes you think these people are demons and stuff where it's probably the government, like the king, that's doing it, but you blame a whole country. So that's why when you're a government or you're a leader, you're, you represent the country so much because no matter what you do, people um, from another place will just do it on the – will count the civilians as what that, you exactly doing is. as well. And I think that's why – that's how the writers show, um, showcase that's this. That's interesting because does that mean like – Everybody should just have a couple Titans because then niggas can't use Titans no more. Well, they could. They can still use Titans. Essentially, that's how it was now. Because, like, essentially, like, that's why niggas don't nuke right now, though. Because, like, my my people got weapons of mass destruction, but it's like, if you use it, my nigga, everybody else that got weird tokens is finna use them. We will fuck. I'll send all 90 of my. All 90 of my. But then you realize that's why why the U.S. was. It's a superpower because we used them first. You know what I'm saying? Especially to end one of the biggest wars ever. So I feel like. To Robbie's point, it makes sense, like what you were trying to say. Yeah. And if you guys agree or don't agree, man, make sure you call up this Thursday. You could call up live with us and discuss. Yeah, facts. Be part I can't of the wait. podcast. I can't wait, yo. Yeah, live Thursday. Ooh, that's going to be a it's fun discussion, a man. Real talk, yeah. yo. This, ep- this episode set it up to have a lot of things to talk about. Yeah, because we can lot. go on for forever. Yeah, there's a lot of good dialogue and shit. Mm-hmm. Well... If it's your first time here, it definitely won't be your last. Make sure you kill, murder, and smash that subscribe button. It's your boy, Wells, the Anime King. Stay tuned. This Thursday, we're going live on our YouTube channel, taking calls from you guys out there. Whatever you guys want to ask, call in. You be part of the show. Pull up. Yeah, Mm -hmm. you are the guest. Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy, DC, man. Make sure y'all call in because it's going to be some interesting conversations, man. Shout out to everybody that's been tuning in the podcast already, man. Factos. It's Liddy every Thursday, man. Patrick Gotti, Attack on Titan, where the stories shit was just as good as action. Yo, it's Amanda Myth the Maniac, Wilkins and the Squad T, and I, that's why I've been telling y'all, get the best show of all time, the best show, Attack on Titan, sir. Attack on there? Titan. Nigga, Walter White. It's your boy Rob City RT, and if you haven't already, make sure you check out our Your Boy Roshi podcast, episode three, and we got your normies, episode one. Yeah, the reaction world, we linking up. The react verse. Yeah. And that settles it at the round table. Drop that heat. Mm.